Hi there, and welcome to another video tutorial. In this lesson, we will be discussing about the fundamental counting principle, permutation, and combination. But before proceeding to this video, let's have the following learning competencies for us to be guided in this lesson. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to solve problems involving fundamental counting principle, illustrate permutation of objects, solve problems involving permutations, illustrate the combination of n objects, and lastly, solve problems involving combinations. Again, for this video, we will be focusing on dealing with the three main topic features, and these are the fundamental counting of principle, permutation, and combination. Do you know why a shorter code is considered weak while a longer code is a strong personal password in a web account? Have you ever wondered why some locker locks have codes in them? Have you ever realized that there are several possible ways in doing both tasks and activities and even choices in selecting from a set like deciding possible combination of outfits or dishes in a restaurant menu. Did you know that awareness of these can help you from conclusions and make wise decisions? This lesson will help us learn and explore more about these situations. Now, are you ready? So let's get started. Let us start with the fundamental counting principle. Addition principle of counting. If an event A can occur in M ways, and event B can occur in N ways, then A or B can occur in M plus N ways. Let's have the following example. Our deli bread bake shop has 5 ube pandesal. 10 chocolate cupcakes, and 12 cheese bread left at the end of a day. Greg rushes in as they are having the last minute opening. How many types of bread can you choose from? In this case, we are asked with a question, how many types of bread can Greg choose from? There are 5 choices for ube pandesal, 10 chocolate cupcakes, and 12 choices for the cheese bread. Take note that in this problem, you will only be choosing one single option. And according to the addition principle of counting, there are 5 plus 10 plus 12, which is equal to 27 possible choices or types of bread that Greg can choose. Let's have another example. The BWS Supreme Student Council requires one student strand representative from either STEM, ABM, or Zoom strand. If there are 10 STEM, 7 ABM, and 5 Zoom's qualified students, how many different choices for representatives are different? So out of the different qualified students, we will be selecting only one student representative. Still the same process with the previous example, this will then give us 10 plus 7 plus 5, which is equal to 22 different choices for representatives. Let us now proceed to the multiplication principle of counting. Suppose that two events happen in order. If the event could occur in M ways, and a second event has occurred, then the two events can occur in m times n ways. For example, suppose we are choosing an appetizer, an entry, or a main dish, and a dessert. If there are two appetizer options, three entry options, and two dessert options on a fixed price dinner menu, how many possible options are there? Based on the given, 
We have appetizer, entry or main dish, and dessert. There are two possible options for the appetizer, and these are the soup or the salad. Meanwhile, there are three options or choices for the main dish, and these are chicken, fish, and steak. And there are two possible ways or possible options for the dessert, and these are the cake or the pudding. Using the tree diagram, we can illustrate the possible options for appetizer, main dish, and dessert. There are two options for the appetizer. We have the soup and the salad. There are three choices for the main dish, and these are chicken, fish, and steak. Meanwhile, there are two options for the dessert, and we have the cake, or it could also be the pudding. Let's try to take a look with the possible choices. We have the soup, chicken, and the cake, and that's the first option. Or, we could also have the soup, chicken, and the pudding. It could also be the soup, fish, and cake. You can also choose for soup, fish, and pudding. Or you can select soup, steak, and cake. And of course, you can also select soup, steak, and pudding. If you choose salad as your appetizer, then we can have the following possible choices. Salad, chicken, and cake. Salad, chicken, and pudding. Salad, fish, and cake. Salad, fish, and pudding. Salad, steak, and cake. Or, you could also choose salad, steak, and pudding. We can also find the total number of possible dinners by multiplying the appetizer, the main dish, and the dessert options. There are two options for the appetizer, and that is salad and soup. Meanwhile, there are three options for the main dish, which represents for the chicken, the fish, and the steak. And there are two choices for the dessert. We have the cake and the pudding. So this will give us a result of 12 possible dinner options. Alright, let's have another example. Diane packed two skirts, four blouses, and two sweaters for her business trips. She will need to choose a skirt, a blouse for each outfit, and decide whether to wear the sweater. Choose the multiplication principle to find the total number of possible outfits. And to find the total number of outfits, find the product of the number of skirt options, the number of blouse options, and the number of sweater options. There are two skirt options, four blouses, and two options for the sweater. Multiplying them together will give us a result of 16 possible outfits. Let us now proceed to the third example. License plates in cars displays three letters followed by four digits. How many such plates are possible if repetition of letters is allowed? So in this first condition, repetition of letters is allowed. So we have three letters and four digits. If repetition of letters is allowed, then this will give us 26 since there are 26 letters in the alphabet times 26 times 26. And for the numbers, we have 10 times 10 
time stand, time stand. Since there are no restrictions or conditions given for the numbers, and there are 10 digits from 0 to 9. And this will lead us to an answer of 175,760,000. Now, what if repetition of the letters is not allowed? So we have 26 times 25 times 24. And for the numbers, we still have 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Since the restrictions or the conditions is only applicable to the letters. This will then give us a result of 156 million. But what if repetition of letters and numbers is not allowed? Then this will give us 26 times 25 times 24 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 which is equal to 78 million 624 thousand let's now proceed to factorial notation by definition n factorial is defined as the product of all the integers from 1 to n how do we write factorial notation we write n factorial with an exclamation mark as follows. n factorial is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 until 3 times 2 times 1. For example, 6 factorial. 6 factorial is equal to 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Let's have 10 factorial. 10 factorial is equal to 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. As a rule, and always remember that 0 factorial 